banks, credit unions, online accounts. Like, where do we put our money? So I'm Michelle Smith and I am not a professional in any way, but I have lots of experience with, you guessed it, spending money, budgeting money. I've been a long time budgeter. I've tried different systems, different programs, and I know what works for me. And I, I know when I see some pitfalls, I need to start making some changes. So, so it's really about what banking system do we use that is best for us as consumers to put our money and, you know, to filter our money through? And I'm not talking about things like, you know, um, is the bank safe? You know, because if they're FDIC insured, I don't know about you, but I don't have $100,000 in the bank. <laughs> not yet. But anyway, for many years, I have banked with the credit union. I've had an account with the credit union and I also had an online account, uh, several online accounts. And, but most, for the most part, I have used my credit union to filter all of my bills. I started following a whole new system of budgeting my money. And one thing that I found was a little bit disappointing in my credit union. Now, you know, credit unions are touted for like no fees or very, very low, no issues, you know, because it's about membership it's not about profit that's why i stuck with my credit union for so long and i'm still with my credit union but i realized something as it relates to paying bills everything will filter through my credit union as it relates to my variable expenses where sometimes i just get confused not really confused but i just drop the ball a couple of times on transferring money to where I was using my spending account. So I say all of that to say that I have since discontinued using a credit union for my variable expenses and I transferred all of my variable expenses over to Ally Bank Online. And here's why. One, there's when they say no fees, they mean no fees. You could overdraft your account. Not saying I'm gonna do that, but I have done it by accident when I actually had the money when I was in a credit union, but it was in another one of my credit union accounts and I didn't transfer it fast enough. Bam, $15 fee. Guess what? It happened again with all within like a two month period. I was like, I don't have $15 to be given to credit union every time I forget to transfer my money. So Ally Bank has a spending account where you know, you could use buckets and you could sort of like allocate your categories within the buckets. Initially, I had opened up separate accounts with my credit union and used those as digital like envelopes, but that was not working because of the whole transfer and, you know, an insufficient fund fee. So at least I know now with Ally Bank, what they have, which is amazing and what's so great about it is because they're online, it's so easy to literally like sell yourself money as long as you haven't, you know, used, I don't know if this is illegal. I don't know. All I know is I'm, I have Zelle. One of my accounts, I use my, my cell phone number, another account, I use my email address. So I'm able to sell money back and forth to myself. I don't see why that would be illegal as my money. But anyway, what I experience is this. With Ally, because they have absolutely no fees, if I forget to transfer the money, you know, from one account to the next, they will either pay it based on my history of like if I've bounced too many accounts or they just won't pay it. And, but there's no fees. There's no insufficient fund fees. And that is like the best thing that any of us can have right now. I'm not saying that you should be bouncing, you know, checks or having insufficient funds, but you know, accidents happen. Mistakes happen. Like me, I have plenty of money and it just really, just really grated my nerves that I just simply didn't transfer it to the account that I was paying off something. Like I had an account for my Amazon subscribe and save variable expenses. When I first started this new whole budgeting system, which I've still yet to share, I created that account for those expenses. But then what would happen is when I would pay the, the, the Chase Amazon rewards card, it would come out of the Chase Amazon Rewards 
variable expenses account in my credit union, but I forgot to transfer the money from my bills account to that account. So there goes the $15 fee twice. And I'm just like, man, I can't believe this. Like I have the money. Like how do you just throw $30 out the window? Well, no more of that. I'm using Ally and I find that I'm also a little bit more in touch with it because even if I pay the chase from, you know, when I pay off my variable expenses that I've used on my Chase Amazon rewards card, even if I pay them off, I'm going to use my bills account anyway, and then I can sell myself the money from my Ally Online account to my credit union account and just pay that off. There's always money in my bills account, so there's no issue with that. But once I get everything up and running, I'm just going to have the money come right out of my Ally account, and then I don't have to worry about any overcharges or insufficient fund fees. I just wanted to share that with you in case you are having any issues with insufficient funds, not even that you have insufficient funds, but maybe you just forget to put the money in and then you get hit with a fee and it's like, God, darn it. so anyway, I just wanted to share that. Check out Ally Bank. I'm pretty sure you heard of them. If you haven't, I'm gonna leave a link to them down in the description box below because they are literally the best thing since sliced bread, maybe. Hey, thanks so much for watching. This was a really, really quick one, but I wanted to share this because, you know, we have to stick together when it comes to saving money. It is us, the consumers, against the big banks.